Good morning, everybody. I'm expected to be a blessing. Today is September the 1st, 2019. This is my reading for my earth signs. How y'all feeling this morning? If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, if I didn't, I'm expected to be a blessing. I welcome you here. Um, with that being said, we're going to get right into your reading. So let's see what tarot has for you today. I have the Three of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the... Hmm, Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and you also have the Star card underneath the bottom of the deck. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So, this tells me that you've been working extremely hard and things are going to pay out for you. You've planted some seeds that are definitely going to work for you. So, anything that you've been working extremely hard for is... It's about to come to fruition. I see that you're definitely in your mind and your thoughts about things that you want. And um, new beginnings definitely on the rise with this Ace of Cups. You also have new love on the way or things like that. You know that you have to love yourself in order for other people to love you the way that you need to be loved. But it's definitely in your thoughts about some things that you want to take place. It's a very creative time for you guys. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is telling me that the universe is about to bless you. Doors of of opportunity is about to open up for you guys. But with the four a pinnacles is saying that you do not do please do not hold on to your funds too tight because if you do you stifle your income don't do that you gotta let the money flow because holding on that means it's stuck in your hands so things can't revolve it goes in a circle you have to give in order to receive trust and believe that with that being said the star card is here so you are the star this is a wish card this is about your destiny you have to make it to be what you want it to be I see that you're on solid ground here, and your emotions are flowing um, evenly, because you see the two cups, the water is flowing the same, which is great. I think that's a good thing. Um, let me say something. I think that y'all having these kind of dreams or something that's going on with your dreams, earth signs, something about dreams. But anyway, the last card underneath. The bottom of the deck for you guys is the Wheel of Fortune. And that tells me that, um, yes, financial increase is definitely on the rising for you guys. Let's see what else is coming up underneath here. Up underneath here, you have the Empress card. So, this talks about birthing on new exciting things. Here, you could have a water sign that could be coming towards you. Here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You also have, oh, a water sign. Another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, a water sign that could be your best friend or your best enemy, but they're very intuitive. Hello, somebody. Hmm. You have an air sign that's coming towards you as well. And what is this? Might this be? Hmm. Seven of Swords. There's some type of betrayal that's going to take place. So, please be careful of the people that you allow to come into your life. Because they're about ain't your friend. They might skin and grin in your face. And they talk about you like a dog behind your back. You have the hangman. Somebody's stuck and needing to make a decision in regard to something here. But it's definitely telling me that your world is changing here, okay? With that being said, you have the sun card, which is a Leo card all day, every day. It talks about you just want to be happy. You want contentment in your life. And that's it. You don't want no bullshit. You don't want to deal with all of that. It is what it is. And with that being said, there's definitely transformation taking place. There could be a Scorpio here. In this when they begin this very beautiful card in this deck. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The high priestess is here to say follow your intuition regarding the things that are going on. The high priestess comes to reading to let you know to follow your gut instincts no matter what. And she says hi, but she's, she looks though she don't say much. There's a partnership that's definitely highlighted for you guys as well. And you're going to have to make a decision here about something. With that being said, I'm going to end your reading now. Please like, subscribe, comment to my channel. Remember, I'm supposed to be a blessing. You have a blessed day. Thank you.